All right, well, once again, thank you very much for having me. Yes, you guys got a great event going on today. I think we have seven speakers. And let me tell you, I'm going to make a guarantee to everyone. Nobody here is going to go home without learning at least several things. Not one thing, but several things. You're going to be able to learn something from all the speakers out of here. And the great thing about coming to these events, ladies and gentlemen, is that I know some of you probably heard of us several times. And the thing is this. Sometimes you can, when you keep hearing other, you know, hearing us speakers and seeing us place to place and seeing new content, you know, you eventually kind of build your, uh, you, you kind of build the, the, who you like to listen to and learn from that person. Because I always tell my students, 90% of your time is going to be spent on education. 10% is only being spent on trading. So, right, and that's what's the beauty about all of you being here. So, once again, I just like to get right into it, ladies and gentlemen. I know they don't give me too much time. You guys got a long day. Yes, these are being recorded for some of you, so you can go back and review it. And I, and it's, that's one great thing about these. We keep we, we can watch the recordings. You can go back and listen to it over and over again. My name is Fausto Puglisi, President and Founder of Cyber Trading University, ladies and gentlemen. Quick little disclaimer from our friends and compliance with Cyber Trade University before we get started. Uh, just please keep in mind there's a very high risk involved in trading and your past results don't indicate any future return. Cyber Trade University and all its individual affiliates in the site assume no responsibility for trading. Learn more about it. Visit our homepage or our website to read our disclaimer. Now, uh, just a quick little intro about me, and I want to get to know a little bit about you guys. So before I go into a little intro, can you guys just tell me in the chat, what kind of trader are all of you? You stock traders, options traders, day traders, futures traders, forex traders. What kind of trader is everyone here? If everybody could just give me a chat back and let me know. Okay, Jack, you're forex. Oliver doing some options. There we go. Beautiful. Kent doing some day trading. Beginner Edward. Okay, that's good to hear. The cheapest way you're going to learn how to trade is being here. <laughs> I can tell you that. A lot of options traders. Okay, for you know, regardless of the options traders, I just want to kind of let you guys know, if you want to be a very good options trader, you have to learn how to trade the stock first. Remember, it's the movement of the stock that makes the option move. That's why they call them options. So I'm glad that you guys are here. Let me tell you a little bit about myself and tell you a little bit about why you should be listening to me and how I could teach you to make a lot of money in the market. Because if you're not going to want to listen and learn, then you're better off going back to your day job. Now, I started back, um, I don't know if anyone has ever read my bio or has listened to me before, but um, I've been teaching people for 20 years. I, am, I started one of the first schools in the industry that started teaching people how to trade. Now, this is not something you can go to college and take a course, you know, a, a learning about tr a tr trading. Actually, it's funny. Colleges are just now starting to tap into this industry of education. Um, but I've been doing it for 20 years, and, and I love what I do. I have a passion to do it because the reason for it is I, I was one of the biggest losers. Um, I made big mistakes. I was ignorant. I started when I was 22. I thought I knew how to trade. Um, I was one of those self-taught individuals. Maybe some of you know a few of you yourselves. Um, saying, you know, you know what? I don't need to listen to anybody. I can go out there, read a couple of books. You know, maybe listen to, you know, go to some expos, listen to some speakers. I go do it on my own. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, if it was so easy, we were all, we were all probably would not be here today. Okay. Once again, why are we all here? I would probably say maybe 10% of you are here because you're, you're, you're a very good trader, and good, great traders never stop learning. But most people are here is because they're trying to figure it out and don't know what they're doing and seeing why they're losing money. And that's why it, it, it's, oh, it's a privilege and an honor for you guys to be here. I really do. It's great that you guys are listening. But the thing is this. I've been teaching for 20 years, and I'm going to tell you a couple of strategies. I'm going to talk about why people fail. Now, understand something. I, am a, I was a professional market maker on the NASDAQ. I used to day trade. Um, 
And let me tell you, what I've learned on the first day on the job, I should have never, ever made my first trade. Okay? I basically, what my mentors taught me here in New York, and remember, I live in New York. I was trained by some of the best traders in the world. And, you know, and the thing was this. One of two things that they, they told me just show me exactly what were the mistakes uh, that was made. So I'm going to talk about them. I'm going to show them to you. And I'm going to show you how half of you will fail if you don't do just some of the, some of the things I'm going to show you right now. And then once again, uh, Chris did tell you, um, one thing that I had to prove to my audience is that I beat every single school I competed against at the Money Show and Traders Expo. I have the best, the best record, 12-time champion. And I'm always proud to say that because you know what? Who do you want to learn from? And I says, you know what? If I'm going to go out there and build a trust for my students, there's no better trust than to actually go out there and compete against everyone. So uh, to find out more about that, you can go to their website. So anyway, what we're going to learn, I'm going to talk about the different, uh, different markets to trade. I'm going to talk about level three. I'm going to talk about the KISS method. I'm going to talk about how I found stocks. I'm going to talk about some great stocks that we traded even yesterday. Maybe some of you heard of them. Did anybody see the stock symbol ACAD or uh, IDRA or Exoma? I mean, there was some great moving stocks in the market, and I'm going to go over them. I'm going to show you how I find them and how you can become very, very profitable doing it. So let me, uh, let me change the slide here. Hold on one second. Um, well, thank you very much, Chris, for that. I really appreciate that. Now, let's talk about why 50% of traders fail. All right, well, the first biggest mistake, if you want to become a very responsible, professional trader, you have to have the right brokerage account. And the biggest mistake people do is the first thing they do is they go out there and they open up a brokerage account. They say, ah, don't worry about trading. You know, I'll learn how to trade. You know, I'll take classes later. Let me try it out first and see if it works for me. And then, you know, and then if it does, then I'll spend money on education. Please, if I ever get the opportunity to talk to you, do never tell me that. Don't tell anyone that. That's like saying, hey, Dad, you know what? I bought a brand new Porsche today. I don't know how to drive, but let me, I'm going to take the car for a drive. Once I drive it, if I like it, then I'll, I'll take a road test. <laughs> You know and I know what's going to happen to your child, and you know as a parent you would never, ever do that. Okay? Well, I'm looking at you as my children. Okay? So the thing is this. Biggest mistake. Do not trade, open up a brokerage account without someone teaching you what, what, what you need. And, and once again, everybody here is a case-by-case -case basis. Um, th now, there's a difference between online brokers and direct access. So let me explain to you what the difference is. Online brokers, which you're all very familiar with, the Fidelities, the Schwabs, the Scott Trades, and all that, E-Trades, these brokerage firms are trading against you. Do you actually really think that they actually make money charging you $5 a ticket? I mean, think about it. Do you really think they can afford to have, you know, 2,000 offices, you know, having some on Park Avenue paying $1,000 a square foot, making $5 a ticket. This is how they do it, ladies and gentlemen. Online brokers, what they do is they're taking the bet from you. Basically, you're sending an email to them. You're telling them you want to buy a stock. And what they're doing is they're going out there, they're buying it on the bid, and they're selling it to you on the offer. So, and the only way that I can confirm this with you is think about this for a second. When you place that order, who are you buying it from? I mean, have any of you ever been to an auction? Ever go to get the opportunity to go to an auction? What do you see in an auction? Like, oh, here I am. I'm, I'm at an auction. I'm here to buy a, a, buy a car. Okay? Guess what? When you're at an auction, you could see who's buying it, you could see who's selling it, and you see the item. And you have an auctioneer. All right? But what you're doing with the online brokers, you're telling them, yeah, you go to the auction and, and just tell me where I bought it and I'll buy it. And what do you think they're going to do? You think they're in the business to lose money? You think they're there for $5? They're not. Now, they're not bad companies. I mean, I do have an online broker. They're good for your, 
IRA to do one trade every month or two months. But if you're an active trader, they love you. They probably make maybe two hundred, hundred dollars every time you hit the button. That's you know the way I the way I, I kind of calculate it. So then the, the big difference is direct access brokers. This is once again where I failed mostly. I went out there when I first started. I was watching the Super Bowl. I thought you know the babies on the, the monkeys. I forgot what it was back then. The monkeys on TV. You know on E Trade. They thought oh you know let me go out there and open up an E Trade account and cost me several hundred thousand dollars in losses. Um, then when I finally said, you know what, there's something wrong, I went to New York, I, I had some very good traders in the industry, they sat down, they showed to me, this is Fausto, you're using the wrong execution system. You're on the floor, you could use the one I have. Let me show you what it is. Direct access gives you instant access to the market. You get to drive your own car. It's just you, the market, the market, you. There's no middleman. All right, that's 50% of the failure rate right there, ladies and gentlemen. So if you're an active trader, um, you're doing, and, and I call active maybe maybe two trades a week, you know, realistically, maybe five maximum. I mean, I do 20, 30 a day. Maybe sometimes I've done, I used to do 100 a day. But if you are doing more than five trades a month, then you need a direct access broker. And brokerage firms don't want to let you know that about that they offer those products because they lose money. Okay, so the difference is, this is the simplest metaphor I can explain it. Online brokers are like public transportation. Direct access brokers are like driving your own car. Okay? Any questions about the difference, ladies and gentlemen? Is that level three? That's right. Well, Omar, I mean, level three is what we're going to talk about next. Well, about the interactive brokers, I don't know. I don't do business with them. Um, I, you know, they're they're the, oh, the thing I know about them, Tony, is that they have very cheap tickets, but they have don't have very good customer service. Keith, you know what? That's a great question. I knew that that was coming. Okay, who do I recommend? I can't recommend a broker for you, Keith, because everyone here is a case by case basis. Some of you trade options, some of you trade stocks and options, some, some of you trade futures or forex. Everyone's different, you know. Um, the best thing for you to do, Keith, is I'll give you my email, um, we'll fill out a little questionnaire, and, and, and one of our education advisors can consult you and tell you who we recommend. Remember, we don't work for them. We work for you. We don't get paid by them. We have nothing to do with them, all right? But I, as being a student, we sure want to make sure you have the right broker and you know what you're dealing with before you get yourself involved in. Um, once again, William, how you find them, I'll give you my personal email address at the end of this presentation. Feel free to email me and I'll get it to you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're running out of time. I'm sorry, I'm talking away. I'm, you know, uh, I'm getting so excited about this. And I know I only have, I don't know if I have an hour, 11.15 or uh, 11 o'clock. So let me, uh, let me get moving. Um, let's talk about level three total view. Now the thing is this, this is what totally sold me, okay? This is what, you know, kind of took those, uh, uh, those uh, bricks off my chest, what some people call. I have a question for everyone. Um, my email, I don't know if I can get it in here, but my email address, if, uh, let me just put it in there. Yeah, it's not going to come up. Uh, let me get up there. F A U S T O P at C T U Corp dot com. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's uh, that's my email address. All right. Anyway, let's let's I have a question for everyone. Can everyone explain to me how do stocks go up and down in the market? What what draws things to go up and down? How do these things go up? Is a question for all of you. Very simple question. If you don't know the answer, give me a question mark. Come on, guys, don't be shy. There's over three to four hundred people here. Just write S and D. How about that? Supply and demand. Okay. Supply and demand. All right. So now, 
Here's my next question. You guys ready? All right. Now I'm going to prove to you why 80% of people fail in trading. And be honest. When you're in a position in a stock trade or whatever it is, do you see the supply and demand? Do you see the buyers and sellers out there? Just a yes or no. Okay, so I want everyone to kind of read all the chat. Look how many no's and how many yeses there are, okay? So think about this for a second. Why would you be in a, why would you trade something and not know where the supply and demand is? I assume a lot of you here know how to read charts, right? Where do you think charts get their, their um, where do you think charts get their data from? From supply and demand. What do you make, think makes support resistance? Supply and demand. So the thing is this, the number two biggest mistake. Remember, number one was having the wrong brokerage account. Number two is not knowing where the supply and demand is. So that's what I want to talk about right now. And once again, this is everything, what I'm teaching you, ladies and gentlemen, this is not, please, the Fausto Puglisi method. This is not, you know, the Cyber Trading University. This is how Wall Street trades, okay? I'm giving you the formula, the recipe, of what we've been using and what we use every day, all right? So, you know, please understand that. What you're about to see is the real true data of orders. So let's look at this for example. Does everyone here know how to read charts? Everybody here know how to read a chart? Okay, good. Everyone knows how to read charts. I think that's like the first thing people do. They got to read charts. Well, that's not the first thing you're supposed to know. The first thing you're supposed to know is where the supply and demand is, all right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to look right here. I'm going to draw a trend line, all right? You see that? What is that called right there when a stock hits that and goes back down? What is that called? That's right. That's a resistance, okay? Now, if you come back to a resistance, what's supposed to happen? Is the stock supposed to go up or go down? Right. Hits a resistance and it goes down. Okay? Now, what makes a resistance level, everyone? What makes a resistance levels? That's right. Sellers and buyers. Supply and demand. Okay. Now, do you see supply and demand on a chart, everyone? Do you see a supply and demand? I don't see any buyers and sellers. All you see is just what happened in the past, right? Well, in theory, when you hit a resistance levels, this stock should have went down, okay? And if that was the case, we should have, if you look here on total view, um, these are buyers, and these are the sellers, and this is the amount of shares that are out there, okay? Well, to have a resistance level, you should have a lot of sellers. Well, technically, we don't have a lot of sellers. We have a lot of buyers. We have a 75,000 share buyer versus a 2,000 share seller. Now, what do you see more, a supply or more of a demand, everyone? You should all be able to, it's very simple questions, guys. Don't, I'm not, this ain't trick questions. I'm not trying to trick you. This is common sense, all right? So you got a demand. So if the stock is, if there's a demand, what does the stock do? Does it go up or does it go down? It goes up, all right? So let me just clear this out for you, erase all drawings. Now, in theory, most people would see that as a resistance, and you would think it would go down. But don't stocks break resistance levels? They break resistance levels all the time. You know, and how is that possible? Because of orders. You see, now right then, this is like trading 101, guys. All right? Um, this is what we, this is how, when my first, my mentor taught me, he says, Fausto, you want to make money in the market? I says, of course I want to make money in the market. He says, well, all the easiest and simplest, you know, kindergarten of trading 
is supply and demand. That's, this is kindergarten stuff, all right? And we all know we're way past kindergarten, all right? So the thing is this, this is, this is basic 101 questions, all right? If you want to know if the stock is going up or going down, you need to see orders, okay? Now, if you're not seeing orders, then guess what? You're trading blind. A uh, couple of questions here coming across. Uh, need a question? Does anyone? Uh, I see Paul Kirk is saying uh, need need a question answered. What is your question, Paul? Just want to see. And uh, does this? Alan has a question. Does this work on futures? Uh, I don't trade futures. Okay, this is only specifically for stocks. Okay, but you are going to get futures coming up. I, once again, I don't trade, um, I trade options, you know, um, as an insurance policy on my stock trading, and you are going to get, you know, today you're going you're gonna to get some options instructors and futures instructors. But right now, with specifically, this lesson is only talked about so stock day trading, okay? But we're, you're going to get to your question today with one of the other instructors. Now, Next thing, things we look for. So as a trader, trading 101, we all, one thing that my mentor and something that I teach you is I show you how to follow big orders. Now everything gets driven by buyers and sellers. So the thing is this, whenever you're in a position, and I know some of you here are probably pretty good traders, as in, you know, seeing the, um, you know, understanding support levels and resistance levels, you know, and, you know, uh, see, reading peaks and valleys and all that. But the thing is this, what makes these big orders, you know, these supply and demand and why these stocks come down and why they bounce is not because Mr. Fibonacci said so. It's because the guy out here showing, you know, 13,000, 6,000 shares is looking to buy it. It's that simple, ladies and gentlemen. Following orders. Now, uh, let me just clear, erase all my drawings. So the, the, one of the things I kind of teach my students, and, uh, and I'm going to tell you guys at the end of this presentation, if anybody wants to join me and see how a true professional trades, I'm going to invite all of you to join me for one whole week, okay, live trading in the market from 8 a.m. in the morning, Eastern Time, to 4 o'clock. And with that, I will show you live and see these real orders come to, come to fruition. You're going to see how these things actually happen, you know. And not only that, but, you know, I'm also going to offer all of you guys, if you really want to know how to place these orders, I'm going to give you a workshop on top of that. So, once again, at the end of this presentation, I'll be done. I'm going to let you guys know in about... 40 minutes. Is that right? No, less than that. <laughs> 20 minutes. I'm going to show you how to join me. We could join me for a whole week and watch this stuff and say, you know what, Fausto? These charts are probably the prettiest I've ever seen and it makes perfect sense, but could you put your money where your mouth is? And you'll see why I, was, I became a 12-time champion and most importantly, it's not seeing Fausto make money, but that Fausto could teach you how to make money. And trust me, ladies and gentlemen, it's not hard. Do you know what the hardest part about trading, ladies and gentlemen, is? The hardest part about trading is discipline and taking the time to learn it. Those are the two hardest things to do when it comes to trading. Now, getting back to understanding, you know, supports and resistance levels. I mean, you could see stocks hitting resistance levels right here, hitting support levels. Stock goes from support, resistance, support, resistance. Stock at support is supposed to go up, right? Well, you got your 10,000 share seller for here and here, but you lost your 10,000 share buyer over here. And if there's no buyers, guess what? Stock is going down. Uh, are you talking about time in sales, Nelson Sane, or is this just a component of what you're watching? Well, 
what you're seeing, time and sales is a little bit different, Nelson. I mean, time and sales are confirmations of a trade that took place. Okay, what you know to, to see what you're seeing is orders. Now, time and sales gives you, which by the way, where the chart gets its data from, that's actually transactions that are taking place. Do they hide orders, Tony? Tony, let me ask you a question. If would you want to be in the business and be be in, be in an industry where there's a bunch of liars, where people are hiding orders and 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 doing all that? Is that what the business you want to be in, where you have thieves? And I mean, I hate to say that, but you know what? You get of course. Everyone says, well, how do you know these orders are real? How do you know that they're not hiding orders? Well, then. If they're hiding them, why are you in this business? They're not hiding these orders. There's there's a little bit of a game that's being played, and I'm glad now your mind is starting to think a little bit more. And this goes for everyone, because I know you all have the same question. Um, so the thing is this. When it comes to trading, you see all these orders. These orders are real. And you know what? I'll tell you a funny story. Um, I did a... Um, I did a, uh, I do a, I did a traders panel. I was on a panel on one of the expos, and um, one of the other speakers kind of challenged me on this question. And and first of all, he wasn't a trader. He was a, he was a technician. Okay, he was an analyst. And he goes, yeah, I heard about all these things, the fake orders. And I says, okay, so you think they're fake? And this is what I told him: if you think they're so fake. Let's let's go. Let's open up your brokerage account and let's execute the guy, and let's see what the, what happens when you, when uh, let's see what happens if your order comes back and says, oh, this is a fake order. Well, let's see if you get executed. Let's go do that. And he goes, well, I don't want to do that. I'm like, why not? You said it's fake. Let's go. Let's go try it out. Let's see if he's fake or not. He goes, and right away he just stopped right there. So the thing is this: there's nothing fake about these orders. This is the data that you're looking at. When you watch the New York Stock Exchange and you see the people on the floor of the exchange, what do you think they're looking at? Charts? No, they're looking at this. Now, let's move on because I'm running out of time. I know I'm, I'm the first presenter and you guys got a lot to go on coming up, but uh, um, well, Raven, it's a good question, but can they take the order? Of course they could. Can't you cancel an order? But you know what? You could cancel an order just as they could, but guess what? If you execute them before he canceled, you own it. Uh, yes, this is being recorded. All right, so next thing, ladies and gentlemen, how to trade like a market maker? Well, most traders, this is where I make most of my money, and, and I run a professional trading room, which I'm going to all invite you to come and join me. Um, at the end of this presentation if you guys want to. But I make most of my money and I teach most of my, my students where they make most of their money is in the pre-market and then within the first 30 minutes of the open. Now you have to understand, I know a lot of you guys are not allowed to trade in pre-market. Maybe you can't even see what's going on. But when you join my trading room, you're going to see what it's like to be trading on the floor of the exchange because everything is electronic. This data is available to you. I'll show you how you could see these orders, how they come to fruition. And you know what? At the end of the day, why are you here? To make money. That's it. That's why you're here. You're here to learn how to make money easier, faster, and most importantly, enjoying the life. Because let me tell you, and I know every instructor that you see today is going to tell you the same exact thing. Trading is the best damn job in the world. It really is. And I'll prove it to you. You're your own boss. You can come and go whenever you please. Anybody here own a business? Guess what? There's nothing to buy. There's no rent. There's no, there's no you know, uh, um, uh, dishwashers and employees. It's just you. You just need some money to trade. But you know what? To be a successful trader, Someone has to teach you how to do it right. And 80% of you are found out how easy it is to get into the industry, to get into this business. But the question is, you didn't take the time to learn how to do it right. Um, 
Nelson, I do trade options, but very, very minimal. I prefer to trade the stock because it's a little bit more controllable. Um, but I do trade options when necessary. Now, getting back to, um, I know you guys have a lot of questions, and I, I apologize, but I'm running out of time. You guys got a really busy day today, so I want to get through these. Um, I'm not even through half my slides yet. <laughs> I got to get through them pretty quickly. So number one, timing. First hour, last half hour, that's all you have to do to trade in the market. And you'll be able to watch me do this um, if you, uh, at the end of the presentation. Um, the KISS method. Keep it super simple. Now, I know a lot of you here, um, first thing everybody wants to learn is, is indicators. And you know what? The problem with indicators is they're lagging. And what happens, some people get too overwhelmed and, and forget about keeping things more simple. You know, sometimes when you start getting too crazy with indicators, now you don't start trading, now you're starting to be a technician, and you're never going to make money. Just remember one thing. When you watch the New York Stock Exchange, when you watch CNBC on TV, and you see the traders on the floor, try to count how many indicators they're using. Look behind them, and when you see those monitors, try to see how many charts they have up and running. Anybody want to take a guess? How many do you see? You know how many I see? Zero, Raven, that's exactly right. But you know what they're looking at? Orders. If you had an opportunity to learn from the best of the best of the industry, where do you think the best traders are? In uh, you know, Alaska? Where do you think the best traders are? If you want to go out there and you want to learn from the best baseball player, you want to, exactly, you go to the source. And there's no better source than to see, what, is, what are they using? What, why, why are these guys so successful? And that's what we teach you at Cyber Trading University. Now, next thing, ladies and gentlemen, stock market movers and free news. Now, the thing is this. When it comes to news, ladies and gentlemen, traders don't care what we trade. Do you guys know what the definition of business is? Anybody know what the definition of business is? Take a guess. It's two words. <laughs> Everybody hears that phrase. It's funny, but some of you guys are like, oh, I don't know, it's a tough question to ask. I'll answer for you. Exactly. Elizabeth, making money. That's the definition. Now, the regardless of how you made it, where you made it, it's irrelevant. Now, 90% of the people trade the wrong stocks to make money with. The thing is, you're out there trading stocks and, you know, and, and, you, just because you think you know the name. I mean, think about it. Priceline, for crying out loud, it's almost $1,400. Number one, you really think it's worth more than Google? I mean, but everyone's like, oh, but it's, you know, because it's a lot of money, it must be a good company. That's not how you trade. Traders try to risk the least amount of money as possible with the most amount of rewards. In other words, I would rather buy and sell Hondas, Accords, because if it's the same 500 me selling Ferraris, I'd rather sell Hondas. It's, it, you know, it's a business decision. Risk to reward. How much am I risking that versus my reward? If I could risk less and make the same amount of money, why would I, do, why would I trade something and risk more money to make the same amount of money? So the thing is this, finding stocks, ladies and gentlemen, you know, one thing I teach my students is I show them how to scan the market going through the percentage gainers and losers, finding the ones that have good volatility, good movement, good volume, and bottom line, that's going to make you a lot of money. Because at the end of the day, I don't care what any one of these stocks do. All I care about, did I make my day's pay? Because trading is a job. It's not investing. And you've got to remember that. You've got to keep it um, separate. Now, around, about um, psychology and discipline and everything, listen, like I told you, some of the things I teach you in my classes, that I teach my students, and this is what I'm going to ask, and you, you have to ask yourself this question. And it's pretty funny, but I'm the guy in the shade, and this is you over here on the right, okay? So the thing is this. Are you keeping a diary of what you're doing every day? Are you analyzing your trades at the end of the day? 
Do you feel comfortable being in a position? You ever get nervous and like, oh my God, the stock's going up, I'm losing money, I'm making money. I mean, these are the things that you have to learn as a trader. And the thing is this, who's teaching you how to do it? Who's watching you what you're doing? That's some of the things that we do. Now, let's talk about the main goal about discipline. And, 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 and this is answering one of your questions right here. Don't worry what I make. Don't worry about the other instructors make. Because the other instructors, we're in a different league than you. Okay? And you know what? Eventually, you'll get into that league. You, 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 know, you want to be a professional athlete. You know, everyone's like, oh, you know, I, I want to be, I want to make a, you know, I want to be the next uh, uh, Manning, you know, and wow, the guy makes $18 million a year, you know. Uh, but you know what? He's an anomaly. I want to be the next Tiger Woods, making $100 million a year. You know what? How about just being a professional and making a day's pay? And think about this for a second. Do you really think it's hard to find a stock to move 50 cents over the course of the day? 50 cents. How about trading at two times 25 cents? Do you know that if you buy 1,000 shares, 50 cents is $500 a day, that's $10,000 a month, that's $120,000 a year? How about 20 cents? Forget about the 50 cents. 20 lousy thinking cents. 20 cents! 1,000 shares is a $50,000 a year salary. How many of you here on Social Security wouldn't, wouldn't mind making a couple of hundred bucks a day because it's not working enough? How many of you have access to trade your IRA? And she says, you know what? I'm retired, I'm spending time with my wife, a husband, whatever it is, you know. I'm, well, good to hear, Ken. But the thing is, you know Social Security is not cutting it anymore, okay? You know, and, and it would be nice to make maybe $100, $200 a day. And you know, it's not that hard to do. But you need someone to be on top of you, be disciplined to show you how to do it. Now, um, for some of you um, that subscribe to um, Twitter or YouTube. Um, I post every day of what we traded um, in our trading room. So you can find us at, you know, Fausto, you can follow us at uh, Twitter at CyberTradingU, or you can find us at CyberTrading University YouTube. We're always posting videos, always posting what we did for the day. Um, actually, I'll show you, here's an example of what we did today. Um, actually, yesterday, this is what I post. We traded in our, in our trading room. ACAD uh, went up four dollars and twenty-five cents, up to up seventeen dollars. Anyone see ACAD today? I mean, on Friday, you can see here we tweeted we tweeted it all day. Aurora and this is the stocks we did this morning. Did anybody trade it? Nobody. Let me show you. Look at this. Stock went from right here in the morning at nine o'clock this morning went from twenty four dollars up until eleven o'clock went all the way up to a high of twenty eight dollars now you do the math that's a four dollar move if you caught fifty cents fifty cents of it okay you still made your five hundred that's probably only ten percent of that move fifty cents, 20 cents. And you know what? You had about an hour and a half to catch it. And if you notice, the biggest thing about this whole trade right here I want to show you is look where most of the, look when the stock made its biggest move. Can you guys tell me when did it make its biggest move? Larry, regardless about if you if I if I told you at 1030 and you chased the stock two dollars later, it still ran another four dollars after that. Right in the first hour, exactly. That's when I'm most active with my students. And I'm going to invite all of you to come and join me, uh, whoever's interested, uh, for five days to watch me trade live. I mean, that's all you need to do. Now, the thing I show you um, in our trading room, we show you how to shop the market, find stocks that are moving, um, you know, here's, here was one of the nicest stocks. This was actually, um, the ACAD was such a nice looking stock. It went up beautifully um, right in the morning. But there are stocks that are moving all day long. 
And some of you, here's another one, ISIS that we found. I didn't like this one. It was a little, little fast moving, a little expensive. But there are a lot of stocks that move in the market. And the thing that you have to realize is how to find them, see the orders, and just make a day's pay. That's all you need to do. Now let me uh, just change my get back to my slides right here, ladies and gentlemen, because we're running out of time. So just to let you know, we Twitter and text our messages uh, to somebody, some of you that subscribe to our Twitter and text uh, live feed all day. We, we do that, and we have our live trading room. Um, we have stocks. I mean, this was actually one of my biggest winners, ICPT. Anybody here my student? Anybody here part of my cyber group? I don't know if there's anybody here. This, um, this is actually was my biggest winner. Um, you could be happy to ask any of the students in it. This was actually a complete fluke that <laughs> I made money on the stock. ICPT went from 50 to almost 400. What helped me pay for my Rolex watch I just bought? <laughs> stock went to $450. Um, regardless, why? I mean, here you can see we tweeted it and, te and, and texted it um, over here. I took a screenshot of that. I mean, we we have winners all the time, and these things are like, like my God, where'd you find this? Well, look at plug. Plug, here's a picture of it. my Twitter and text. Stock went from three to five, you know, two days straight. Some of you probably are trading it now. You know, NBIS. These are things that we kind of teach you how to find. What does NBIS does? I don't know. I don't care. But the thing is, it moved, it had a good move, and that's all that matters. Uh, a couple of things. O OXBT, I mean, 27%, 30%. That's what it's all about. All right, so let me just um, let me just get moving on here because running out of time. Now, if anybody here wants to, because I'm running, I, I know the other instructors got to pick up. So let me just get right to it. Apologize, I'm running out of time, but time flies, you know. Dark pools. If you guys want to read or learn anything about dark pools and what they are, um, you could email me. I'll be happy to send an article um, to it. Uh, also, just to remind some of you, uh, we were also ranked number one school six years in a row by Equities Magazine. Um, Active Trader um, Magazine also run a front page article on me, nine pages. If you guys want to read it, just email me. I'll be happy to send it to you. I know I know how much all of you guys like to read. Well, if you want to, if you're looking for a mentor and you want to know a little bit more about them, you know, feel free to email me. I'll be happy to send them to you. Uh, also. Now, moving forward, Cybertrade University teaches to some of the biggest brokerage firms in the industry, uh, FXCM, Thinkorswim, Lightspeed, Trade Monster, TD Bank. We do more education for more brokerage firms than any school in the industry. Okay? Now, how could you start learning today and making money? This is the thing um, that I was telling you earlier. If anybody here wants to watch me trade for five days, this is a promotion that we're offering everybody. It's basically six cents. It's costing you about ten dollars a day. That's it. And I'm sorry we had to charge you for it to get in there, but if we didn't, it's it's the main reasons for compliance purposes. And if we did, we will have ten thousand people in there. But if you want to watch me trade live for five days, five days, and I'm going to throw in a four hundred dollar workshop for you where you're going to be able um, I have a, a recording of a workshop that I've done. It's going to teach you how to use the high-frequency trades and how to use the ECN book. Um, all you need to do is um, just register for $57, and I'll give you the link. Basically, what you need to do is go to Cybertrain University's website. Let me just go right there. Let's go right to Cybertrain University's website. Hold on, just bring up the page for you. There we go. And right on the home page, just click on which says register now, and you'll be able to get registered for that package. Okay? I'll put the link in there. Um, two things. 9 to 9.30, we do a live broadcast during the meetings, and the room is open from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. with live trading with me and all my instructors. Um, Lola, a couple of questions coming across here. Let me just move this over here back to the end. 
Oh, there's my email address if you guys have any questions. A couple of questions. Uh, no, well, once again, Mike, listen, there's a lot of great speakers today, okay? And we're all going to be offering everybody a very inexpensive package for some of you guys to join. You know what? I recommend, you know what, all of you, don't get settled with one instructor. If you like mine, sample mine, sample somebody else's. But the thing is this, you're going to learn something. And the thing is this, I can tell you this, every single one of you need a mentor. And if you took a course with someone, doesn't shouldn't stop you to still learn from someone else. Okay? But the thing is this, you need somebody to coach you. We're like, you know, I hate to say this, but we're like doctors. All right? Don't try to be your own self-doctor and try to analyze yourself what's wrong with you. You guys come to the professionals and we've gone to professionals because we've learned. So go out there and learn from someone. But try to sample a couple of things from people see what you like, see, you know, learn a little bit more about stocks, some about Forex, some about futures, but you got to learn from everyone. All right. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting yelled out so that I have to quit and leave. Um, if anyone has any questions, you can call, you can email me at Fausta P at CTU Corp, um, $57, 877-70-CYBER, you can call us or register online. Okay. Listen, guys, i like to thank you know, Chris, I'd like to like MTI for having this great event here today. It's a wonderful event. You guys got a really busy day. Uh, the course is being recorded. Make sure you go back and review them. In the meantime, thanks for making the opportunity to be here on Saturday. Um, it was a pleasure and honor to speak to all of you. And once again, I look forward to teach everyone here um, at Cybertree University. Thanks again. Look forward to seeing you all. I'm going to pass it back to Chris.